In my most recent video, I faced off versus two Liopard Trick Room teams, and utilized a mechanic that I didn't realize a lot of players weren't aware of. But before I can explain it, we need to discuss Generation 8's massive buff to Trick Room, and why Liopard is such an important Pokemon on it, despite its high speed stat. In previous generations, Trick Room was only possible to set up at the end of each turn due to Trick Room having the absolute lowest priority in the game at minus 7. This makes sense from a balanced view, as being able to reverse speed tiers at the start of a turn would be absolutely broken. Some newer players may think that Prankster Trick Room will set up instantly, but it actually just makes it among the second slowest moves in the game at minus 6 priority. Gen 8 did introduce a workaround to this though. See, when a Pokemon Dynamaxes, all of its non-damaging moves become the move Max Guard, a plus 4 priority move. Prankster will make the move Copycat plus 1 priority, which, when targeting a Pokemon using Max Guard, will actually copy whatever move Max Guard was based off of. The Liopard line and Riolu have access to Prankster Copycat, making them staples of many Gen 8 Trick Room teams in VGC. However, Liopard is the more reliable of the two due to it having access to Fake Out and being naturally fast at 106 base speed, so its plus 1 priority Copycat will activate before other priority moves used by slower Pokemon. This instant Trick Room does have one fatal flaw though that is pretty unintentionally hilarious. Max Guard being plus 4 priority and Prankster Copycat being plus 1 priority leaves a whole 2 speed tiers between them to be exploited. Fake Out is a plus 3 priority move that can be spammed to force Liopard to copy it over and over again, denying the Trick Room and wasting anywhere from 1 to all 3 of your opponent's Dynamax turns. Even though the Fake Out fails each turn, the Liopard will continually copycat it if they decide to go for it over and over again. I did this in my video yesterday and it puzzled a lot of my audience leaving them with a lot of questions, so I figured rather than answering them all individually, this would be a great learning experience and a decent video to make. Anyways, be sure to join me next time when we discuss the time Geico sponsored an unofficial VGC tournament, which was supposed to be today's video but I decided to make this one instead. Be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you learned anything new, and check out my Twitch channel to watch me battle live.